reaction begins when the amide from the sodium amide steals a proton from here and a lone pair is distributed to this carbon that results in this product. This compound is in resonance with the following compound. The lone pair goes here to form a double bond, and another lone pair is distributed here, giving us this product. And again, it is in resonance. The lone pair then comes in and steals a proton from the ammonia, giving us this product. The newly formed amide comes in and steals this proton here, just depositing the lone pair on this carbon, giving us this product. This product is in resonance via this giving us this product. With the newly formed ammonia, this lone pair comes in and steals this proton, giving us this. As you can see, from the starting material, the triple bond has moved down one bond. You can probably guess what happens next. The amide comes in and steals this proton, depositing this product. This is in resonance with another structure. Lone pair comes down and steals this proton, giving us this product. The newly formed amide comes in, takes the proton again, posits a lone pair here, giving us this product. The lone pair comes in, kicks this back over here again, to give us this. The lone pair comes in and steals another proton from the newly formed ammonia to get this product. Now you might be thinking this is probably where the reaction ends, but we do have another amide anion in the solution, which is not very stable, and it is going to take another proton from the end of here, like so. Quench this reaction, we just need to add water to the solution. The lone pair steals this proton from the water, and we get our final product. Pretty easy. Now you know the alkyne zipper reaction. Good job.